In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and set up a TFTP server on your computer so you can do file transfer between uh, two devices. So I'm going to set up the TFTP D64 on this computer and then I'm going to transfer a Cisco image file from my computer to a Cisco switch. So let's uh, open up your favorite browser and type in TFTP D64 download and you will go to this first link. So right now this uh, folder has been moved to GitHub. So go there and go to the download page and then this will be the look at the latest version. So this is the, the latest version you can download. So let's download this exe file. Um, this is a 64 bit. So I'm going to download this one and it's going to take a few seconds and then let me click here and it's going to ask me to install. So I'm going to agree to the license and I'm going to um, click next and I'm going to use the default folder here, install. So install complete. It's a very light uh, program. At the same time, TFTP uh, doesn't have much security. So it transfers the file in plain text. If you want a secure transfer, you have to go to SFTP and uh, other options. So let me close here, and then I'm going to open my, if you see here, I have TFTPD here now. So let me double click here, and I will allow the firewall access. And then go to settings here, and uh, go here and then if you see here tftp server client uh, i don't need a dhcp server or a syslog server uh, so i will use this as a tftp server and a client and let's look at other options here so i will check this one and then I will bind this to my local IP. So that is going to be uh, 169. So that has to be uh, here. This is my local IP. So I'm going to bind this to here. Uh, and then uh, I can say these are other options. I'm not interested in this one. So I say, OK. You have, uh, you have to restart uh, this program. I will say yes. Okay, so now I restarted. I want to set this directory also where I'm going to keep all my files. Here I'm going to select um, Samsung, Cisco Academy, Cisco iOS images. So this is my folder is going to be. So this is where I'm going to do the transfer uh, between this computer and the Cisco switch. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer a file from my TFTP server to this Cisco switch. To do that server interface, I'm going to set the interface. That is my, uh, the computer, IP, this is the local IP of my uh, Realtek uh, network adapter. And then, so let me go and take a look. Go, if you click browse, you will go to your Cisco iOS image here. And let me see what I have in the image. Um, that is going to be here. Cisco Academy and iOS images. So what I want to do is I want to upgrade this switch to this uh, 55 version. So before I transfer the image, I want to see whether I have enough space for the image. So let's do a DIR command. 
looks like uh, I am in a directory of this folder. So let me go to, uh, but you don't have to go to uh, the master directory, but you can see how much space you have from here. Uh, so you have eight MB, but your file that I'm going to transfer here, it is a 11 MB file. So I need to delete this image uh, first. So to do that, uh, delete force uh, recursive, uh, let's see, recursive force, let's do a question mark, and that's uh, flash one, flash one, and this is the directory. No, I don't want to, okay, and then I need to specify this is the the file, and then yes, so it is deleting right now because it's taking time, so that means it is deleting. Delete file, uh, so that has been deleted. So let's try uh, DIR, and you see I am in that directory and that image is gone. So now I have enough space to transform my file. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, copy TFT, TFTP flash address or name of the remote host that is 192.168.1.200. That's my computer IP here. And source file name. I'm going to go here and I'm going to copy that file name here. So that's going to be this one. Dot bin destination file also it's going to be uh, same it is accessing the file tftp let's wait and see uh, let's go here and see whether it's initiate Nope, it should have started immediately. Oh, I know what's the reason. Okay. The reason is I do not have IP connectivity. I restored this switch to uh, factory default and uh, I forgot to set the IPs. All right, yep. So just, uh, I'm going to set that first. Let me break this. Uh, if you see here, show show IP int brief and uh, VLAN two to five. That is actually it is down. Okay, and I need to bring up the interface. Show VLAN, and if you see, I don't have the VLAN. Uh, configured conf t int uh, vlan two two five name m mgmt uh, int vlan int vlan two two five ip address uh, 192, 168, one dot. Uh, so this is going to be 102. Even though you see here, I have this uh, uh, here, this one. You see, 
it has an IP, it is down, down, because it's not configured, actually. Uh, and 255, 255, 255, zero, no shut. And I also have to configure the port number also. So int uh, FA101, switch port mode, access, switch port access, VLAN 225. And right, okay, now I try copy flash 200, uh, same information, destination file, same, and it should start, come on. Still not. Okay, because if you see here, interface change state to up, and I think it's going to start the file transfer. Yep, you see here, uh, it started the file transfer. So it's going to take a couple of uh, minutes, I would say. Let's try. These were errored out. That's why, you know, I, I had a few of them before. And now it's uh, started the file transfer. So this is how you do a file transfer from uh, a TFTP server to your switch. So you can do this to um, any other thing in not only the Cisco switch, you can use this to transfer file uh, to other servers and other things. Hope uh, this video is uh, helpful for you. So please don't forget to like, subscribe uh, to this channel. Also don't forget to comment if you want to ask any questions, just put that under the comment. I will definitely reply to your questions. All right, thanks, bye.